guy debates everybody. Yeah, it's so he's so ridiculous. He does yeah. his, a Wikipedia search and then just starts going after things like yeah. he's an expert. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it, it's a it's a fun time. It's yeah. a really fun time. Yeah, a fun time for watching people. Joe Rogan is going on an anti-woke rampage. First, he went after the woke hens of The View, absolutely destroying them. And he did that multiple times. He called, he's been calling out The View, Whoopi Goldberg, and Joy Behar, and the rest of them for all of their idiotic statements recently. He's been calling out people like Bill Maher for straight up lying and just, just being disingenuous with all of his standpoints. And now Joe Rogan is calling out Destiny, and Destiny actually fires back at Joe Rogan and all of Joe Rogan's criticisms. Let's first check out the clip of Joe Rogan calling out Destiny, and then we're gonna check out Destiny's response to Joe Rogan and this clip here from the Joe Rogan experience. Let's check this out. Uh, ben Shapiro should debate Destiny. Oh my God, I know they did. They did debate. <laughs> did they really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They About did, what? Um, who hosted them? Was it Lex? Was it, Lex? Was it? Uh, I could be getting that wrong, but it could, I think Lex hosted a debate like two months ago. Well, he had a debate a couple of months ago, but it was a Palestine. No, Israel no, that was separate. Debate. I yeah. also saw that. Oh, that was like the did. four hour. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that guy debates everybody. Yeah, it's so he's so ridiculous. He does yeah. a Wikipedia search and then just starts going after things like yeah. he's an expert. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it, it's a it's a fun time. It's yeah. a really fun time. Yeah, a fun time for watching people. Fly. It's funny how Joe Rogan is now becoming one of us like he now doesn't like any of the people who we don't like and look i used to be i don't want to say a destiny fan but i used to find his content really interesting back when he used to talk i don't even i don't i just don't have time to watch him anymore i don't have time for that anymore but back when he used to talk to people that were interesting you know like sneeko and like have these conversations with people like fresh and fit who he obviously disagrees on it was just cool to see those conversations happen i don't know if he still does that or not but I've never been like a, a huge Destiny hater. I always thought that he had some pretty interesting conversations. And I don't think he just looks at Wikipedia and like goes into debates and think that he thinks that he knows everything and he can just destroy the other person just from looking at Wikipedia, doing like minimal research. I don't think he's that kind of person all the time. But I do definitely think that no matter what is said, if Destiny is is in the debate mode, if he, in, in which he, he normally is, no matter what is said, Destiny is going to find a way to disagree with you. And he will pull out like random Wikipedia facts or things that he's heard in his, his live stream chat or something like that, just for the sake of being able to disagree with you. Like not actually like morally, you know, not believing the same thing that you believe. Like he just wants to disagree. He's a contrarian and he, he will definitely use like Wikipedia facts and, and stuff that he's heard in his live stream chat and stuff like that non-verified stuff like joe rogan is talking about there but like i said destiny actually responded to that criticism from joe rogan directly let's check out here destiny's response to that joe rogan experience clip do you see ryan mcbeth stood up here on twitter uh i clicked this but i didn't actually ha ah, yeah yeah oh wait an interesting video popped up about joe rogan and the streamer destiny okay. and joe rogan said oh, ben shapiro should debate destiny oh my god i know they, they did the two of them they, was it like like two we watched this everybody already. yeah he's going at this People who live in glass houses, man. Joe Rogan is probably one of the biggest misinformation spreaders I've ever heard. Funny story, I actually stopped listening to Joe. So you can basically tell where someone stands politically by how often they use misinformation, the word misinformation, especially when talking about someone like Joe Rogan. And whatever you're saying, don't live in glass houses or whatever you just said about Joe Rogan. It, it's Joe Rogan's not a debater. He's a conversation haver, and he's had conversations with a lot of very, very smart people with a lot of different expertise. So now he's able to, and, and when I say a lot, I mean probably more than anyone on the planet. You know, talk to people from different expertise, different walks of life, different political backgrounds, different belief systems, different religions, all these things. So now he's able to form these opinions. Pretty, they're they're pretty well informed opinions at this point. So to say that he's Throwing stones in glass houses. Number one, he's not. He's not a debater like Destiny is and like Destiny loves to do. Number two, I think Joe Rogan's pretty damn well informed. You know, I don't think he spreads much misinformation, but you can tell that someone's a lefty by how often they use the word misinformation. It's just kind of like, instead of saying, I disagree with you, they just say it's misinformation because it sounds like their disagreement with you is more factual than it is just a personal disagreement. Because if you say, oh, I disagree, that means like, okay, we disagree on a personal level. But if you say, no, that's misinformation, then that means like, okay, factually, this has to be widely accepted as the wrong opinion that you have. You know what I'm saying?
O'Rogan on February 6, 2023. I was getting an MRI for a labrum tear and the technician asked me, do you want to listen to music? And I said, no, you can, you can put on Joe Rogan. So he puts on strategic geniuses, Crystal and Sager. If you've ever had an <laughs> oh, MRI, you're stuck inside this machine. So for 20 minutes, I'm hearing these two misinform the public about military strategy in Ukraine. Oh yeah, those two are a real Patton and Bradley. Now I've actually been on Destiny's podcast. And yeah, he does read the Wikipedia article. And because he read the article, he asks good questions and he doesn't bring people on his show who misinform the public. An interesting video popped up about Joe Rogan and the streamer Destiny. And Joe Rogan said, Thanks. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Rogan and Schultz mentioned you in the same week. You should wear the title Wiki Warrior proudly. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I want to, I don't know what I want to do for that. It's not like a good, it's not a good reputation. Um, but it's also clearly not true. Like if you listen to me debate somebody, it's pretty obvious. It's not just wiki knowledge. But then a lot of people don't listen to the full debate, so I'm not sure. I feel like when people accuse you of being a wiki warrior, you don't seem to defend against it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with using Wikipedia as a starting point. Or even, to be honest, even if the only thing you know is the wiki, you actually know more than like 99% of people on the internet, including people in media. So it's not even bad to use as an ending point. Now, if you want to get really deep, it's better. However, I think there's something that you guys, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, I can't tell what you're aware of. When people are criticizing Wikipedia, they're not actually doing it from a place of knowledge criticism. They're doing it because they think Wikipedia has been compromised either by the Jews or by progressives or whatever. And they think that it's a biased and untrustworthy source as a result of that. That's technically the reason why people, um, why people do it. Yeah. Maybe if you want to dispel that narrative, just say you use Wikipedia, sometimes to develop the skeleton of knowledge. For Israel. Well, I mean, that's what I do say. It doesn't matter though, right? But I think where people get the wiki warrior or that the fact that Destiny goes into these debates and, and only reads the Wikipedia when he goes in is because there's a lot of moments where he will show an extreme gap in knowledge on a, in a certain debate. Like one that comes to mind is whenever he was on Fresh and Fit debating a certain someone and that certain someone asked him like, where is, I believe he asked him, where is Israel on a map? And he didn't know where it was like he, he, i think it was a, it might have been a different country but i'm pretty sure it was a middle eastern country because they were debating on that topic and he asked them like where is that on a map and he couldn't describe it like he couldn't describe where it was and it's like you can have all these opinions and everything but if you don't actually even know what it is that you're talking about then you look kind of stupid like i understand that knowing where it is on a map isn't necessary to making a good argument on the topic but it is necessary to proving that you actually do care about the topic instead of just arguing for the sake of arguing or arguing because you just don't like the person across from you so it's moments like those that are probably shown to joe rogan that that make joe rogan say things like he just reads the wikipedia going into debates and doesn't actually understand what it is he's talking about he's just a good argue just ask them what you were wrong about due to wikipedia yeah but the problem is we don't have access to those people what about for hassan's community why do they say that uh because Hassan tells them to what do you mean i think it's both that and the depth of knowledge mm, i disagree um i don't know if i'm dating myself here but like i'm trying to imagine as a kid like here, here's actually i can give you actually i can do this in literally one word i can give you one word to prove my point right that when you were a kid, or, or now as a, as a word you might say, a compliment that you can give somebody's knowledge is you can go, they have an encyclopedic level of understanding of something. Usually, like, if you were to say as a kid, like, oh yeah, I read the whole encyclopedia on this topic, nobody's gonna be like, the encyclopedia? You're reading a secondary or tertiary source on things in order to, or secondary source, wait. Wikipedia would count as a tertiary source, right? Because it's a compilation. Yeah, you're reading a tertiary source and you consider yourself informed on a particular thing. Nobody would have criticized you for reading an encyclopedia back in the day on that. Um, and in some ways, you could argue that Wikipedia is superior and that there's not like the authorship is public and it's more, um, uh, it's more transparent in terms of who can see who's editing what and everything. And it's up to date, right? Because it gets updated frequently. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a knowledge related thing. I think it's more of a narrative related thing for what people think happens on Wikipedia, what it represents or whatever. Yeah. There's a whole host of things here that I can control. But then there's like, Images of me that appear publicly that are out of my control a little bit. And dealing with these are the challenging things. So like for myself, right? I mean, you have quite literally, I could do like a whole thing on this. I can understand what he's talking about. You know, there's, the, it's definitely like 
no matter how much you try to protect your image, no matter how much you try to prove to the world that you're not a wiki warrior, that you're not just reading the Wikipedia going into these debates, there's still going to be clips of you that surface online. Like, so it, that's why I think destiny is so experienced in these things where he's, he's been called out by so many people before he's gone through so many different controversies before that he's now really well experienced in these. And that's why he's kind of just chill about it. Like he's not really super angry at Joe Rogan for saying that he, he's, he's just kind of like, yeah, it is what it is. Like he can't do much to control it. But with that being said, I, I definitely think, and let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I definitely feel like he, he takes stances that he thinks he's supposed to take on topics that he doesn't actually feel strongly about. Like, and, and I think that's what Joe Rogan kind of means by what he said. He takes certain stances that he, he doesn't feel that strongly about them, but because it's coming out of a certain person's mouth who he disagrees with largely, he's going to take the opposite stance because that's just what he feels like he's supposed to do. Or he he just wants to argue. So he, he's going to be a contrarian on everything. And that's widely known, like within our space, like destiny is like, he's just a contrarian. He's going to disagree for the sake of disagreeing. I'm kind of the same way, to be honest. I like arguing. I like debating. It's fun. So I can't really fault him on that, but taking like strong moral stances on things that you don't fully understand, you can't even point out on a map or something. That's that's where it just, it's not a great look, you know? Let me know in the comments though what you're thinking about Joe Rogan calling out Destiny. What do you think about him calling out all these woke people recently? The Bill Maher people, the the View, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar for being absolute idiots. And now he's calling out people like Destiny. He's not holding anything back recently. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about Joe Rogan in that clip from the Joe Rogan experience. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.